Hi everyone, welcome back to Christine's Creations. How are you guys doing today? So I have a quick, fun little video um, that I did last week and um, I was playing around with a bunch of different colors in blue and it's a bloom. So, um, and it's on a 10 by 10 canvas. And um, I just wanted to say hi and welcome back and I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I also played around with um, some stickers um, you know stickers that people use for scrapbooking and things like that little butterflies dragonflies um, as some of you may know from my past videos I cannot draw um, and I thought I'm gonna see what people think about stickers is it cheesy looking you know put it underneath the resin and I took uh, two examples to the farmer's market yesterday which by the way was amazing I felt so much love and made some money sold half my inventory a ton of coasters and some canvases everybody was really really welcoming in my town so that felt really good really good super successful so I'll probably be doing that every couple of weeks and uh, continue making paintings for you guys on YouTube. So it works out great. Anyway, so I had a couple of examples of a bloom with like some butterfly stickers on it. And I asked people, I said, you know, would, they, would you like something like this? And if I had, I didn't have resin on it because I wanted to have the option of taking the stickers off if people were like, no, that looks cheesy or whatever. I thought it looked really cute. And you guys are gonna see at the end of this video what I'm talking about. So um, everybody said, no, I think it's really, really cute. Everybody loved the dragonflies a little bit more than the butterflies just for, you know, uh, consensus. Um, consensus says dragonflies over butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for a hummingbird to come in um, and I'm gonna play around with that too it's not exactly fluid art organic meaning the painting speaks for itself with no embellishments but I love embellishments so I'm gonna play around with this as long as I feel like it and as long as people are receptive to it so anyway let's uh, play around with some embellishments but first we need to do the bloom all right, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, bye. Okay, here we go. Um, so I've got a bunch of blues I'm gonna play with. I'm gonna do a bloom. And I've got Amsterdam greenish blue, TLP frost. TLP is this little piggy. Amsterdam Ultramarine, TLP Lakeside, TLP Sapphire, Color Art Blue by You, TLP Sterling, TLP Harvest Gold, TLP Ballet Slipper, TLP Gold Pe Golden Peach, love this one. Uh, and the, what is this one? Amsterdam Brilliant Blue, okay? So that's, I don't know if I'm, I'm not gonna use all those, I just, want to verbally say all of them in case I forget later what I used and then there it is okay so first off I want to do like a background um, I've been doing it lately on the tiles and I really like the way it looks so this is the TLP frost and the blooms gonna be in the middle so how am I gonna do this? Because I've been doing the tiles a little bit differently. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna put it in the middle. A good amount. And then I've been mixing my background with Should I use the ginger? No, I'm just gonna use the ballet slipper. I'm gonna go a little bit subtle. This is a pearl that just blows your mind uh, when it's dry. 
which I've just witnessed, and it was amazing when it hit resin, so I'm super happy about that. So what I do is I have this rubber spatula that, you know, if you guys have been watching, you guys know I like this thing. And you just kind of wait till you're ready. So you just kind of spinning it too fast. Go easy. Because the blend's going to be in the center. All right, good enough. Good enough. Good enough. I'm not even sure if you're going to see any of that. So because this is a bloom, and I just did what I did, my my pillow has gone down. So I'm going to create a little pillow here. For my bloom to go on okay that's probably good enough and i'm going to start with the tlp sapphire here's the consistency Okay, and I mix this with the Base 3 Untinted Glidden Premium and the Josanya. Okay, and that's what I do all my colors with, whether it's a pigment or a golden fluid. Lately, I've been working mostly with pigments. This is the TLP Lakeside. Now I'm going to go in with a really bright ultramarine blue by Amsterdam. Very bright color. Trying to be neat and tidy today. I'm going to go ahead and put some of the frost that I used on the outside right here. So if you notice, I mean, I don't know if it makes any sense, but I'm doing dark light, dark light. Um, I am going to use a little bit of this Amsterdam greenish blue. I like this color. But it is like a green in the blue family. It's a green in the blue family. Amsterdam Brilliant Blue. This is gorgeous too. And silver. Sterling. TLP Sterling. I think that's going to do it. I'm using a black cell activator. Well, hold on. I got my other camera and I forgot to turn it on. I use it for TikTok. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, black cell activator, and this is mixed with. Australian Floetrol 4 to 1 and Black Oxide by Amsterdam. It's got the halo, so that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a blow.
Okay, so just waiting for that to come in through the middle a little bit. And deciding what I'm going to do with the swirls. I'm going to put my glasses on. Okay. Sure, how I feel about the gray, but because it's the uh, the TLP sapphire is very gray, it's a blue gray. going for an abstract flower look. Trying to keep my swirls pretty small because I know they're going to get much bigger. This one looks a little weird. I'm going to try to change the shape of that. This one's going that way. It might be weird to go that way. Hmm. See, this is me thinking about it too much. That's pretty. That background is pretty cool. I think I'm going to spin it out a little bit more. Okay, hi everyone. So this is the finished blue star with the little dragonflies under the resin. And now I think it turned out so cute. Oh my gosh. Let me close up of the dragonfly. This little guy down here. 
It's pouring down rain outside, so you guys hear the noise. Anyway, got some really pretty silver and effects. And I did a video a couple weeks ago. And this is its finish with the hummingbird on it. And oh my god, look at that hummingbird light up. Um, this, the yellow just pops. This is, I'm not selling. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Maybe they just love it. It's just so simple and, yep. So I am loving the little stickers right now. Hope you guys like it too. And we'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye now.